2023, leaders in the United States Senate introduced legislation uh, to amend the National Defense Authorization Act called the UAP Disclosure Act. In that proposed amendment, authored by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Mike Rounds of North Dakota, terminology was included referencing non-human intelligences. Specifically, they were mentioning the existence of recovered technological artifacts, and they were re referencing the recovery of, quote, biologics. In other words, the apparent pilots, mostly deceased, from recovered craft. Now that seems to have opened the door to expand our focus beyond the traditional focusing on sighting reports of UFOs and issues concerning an alleged government cover-up. In 2023, in the summer of 2023, there was also the testimony of David Grush, uh, a person in the United States government working with the Defense Department and intelligence community uh, who had a high security clearance and who interviewed 40 people with uh, first-hand knowledge of special access programs concerning non-human intelligences, the technology and the bodies. It seems that now, with all of this happening, we can expand our focus beyond the traditional focusing on sighting reports and cover-up issues and focus more closely on the data that has emerged from civilian investigations over the decades of close encounters of the third and fourth kind. Stepping forward as one of the agencies that can be uh, involved in examining uh, the intent of the, what is called the intent of the UAP operators is a new think tank that emerged out of Palo Alto, uh, birthed by a uh, academic from Stanford named Gary Nolan, a biologist, and a cultural anthropologist named Peter Scaffish. They recently held, in November, a two-day conference with a wide variety of speakers which began the examinations beyond what was traditionally the narrow fo focusing. Extensive databases exist related to reports of close encounters of the third and fourth kind. This is where people actually encounter or see and observe entities that don't appear to be human and who are associated with UFOs or some form of very advanced technology beyond what is known to have been created by human cultures. Our focusing can expand also onto the various uh, capacities that are observed by many of these non-human intelligences, like telepathy and uh, the ability to appear and disappear, to go through solid objects. Many very unusual things have been observed very consistently. And so another area of focusing is on developing our own and enhancing our own capacities. And for that, we have traditions and practices different cultures that may indeed go a long ways for us to be able to do that.
finally a key resource that would be highly uh, useful for many newcomers is the third edition of the UFO Encyclopedia edited by Jerome Clark. It came out in 2017.